I feel like Destiny's really locked on. And it's my book, Destiny for the Daring. I was telling Patrice that self-publishing through Amazon or doing this shit or doing that shit, I went, I'll just bring enough attention to the book so that Simon & Schuster will give me a call. And you know how I know it will be Simon & Schuster? Carly Simon. Ah. Oh. I can't believe I'm in a world where there's people who don't know who Carly Simon is. Singer-songwriter. Never had to be because she was heiress to the Simon & Schuster fortune on the Simon side. She, Carly Simon, is a princess who deigned to come down from the castle on top of the hill to play songs for us troubadours out by the campfire. It's really cool of her. It's, she just did this as a hobby. Everything about it was just, just her total passion. It wasn't to make a living. It wasn't for anything. She didn't even need to be famous because in her whole social set, she was Princess Carly, man. You don't have to be more famous than that. Yeah, I was. I was in college. I was into spirituality for a while. I'd been in the astral realms a few times, but this dream was, it was, I got a, an envelope, like for a wedding invitation. I was being invited to a, a summer lawn party by Carly Simon, and I went, how will I ever get there? Poof! I'm there. It's, it's, my mind just says, you know, it's like, like if you, people talk about vacationing in Nantucket. Well, that's what it looked like. It was just beautiful. It's, you know, um, old New York State architecture and stuff. A beautiful field and I was off, and there was, you know, Warren Beatty, Mick Jagger, Carly Simon, and all, everyone, the whole crowd. And, and I went, oh, man, I don't know anybody. It's Carly Simon sees me. Oh, you, you, Leo, you decided to come. And scampers, you know, young woman then, scampers across the uh, it, it says, sits down next to me on the park bench, just chit-chats me for five minutes. What did Carly Simon talk about? It's the chit-chat of a goddess, and you care what the fuck she says, man? It was just music for my ears. And then picks me up and drags me to meet Warren Beatty, he's turned into one of my favorite uh, stars. He did nothing. He didn't do shit at the time when I, I had this dream. He was just first getting hot. And Mick Jagger, well, he went on. <laughs> so I'm thinking, what does that dream represent? It represents that her company is going to pick up my book and that we're going to have fucking tea together or some shit. I swear to God. My life is good. That's what Randy Newman would say. <laughs> my life is good. God bless you all. Me too.